more content. They're really looking at GMC as very much a premium brand and differentiated from uh, some of the mass brands that are out there selling trucks. And that's really what we're trying to do with our brand. So uh, we're really we're really right on track. Uh, one of the top reasons for purchase for GMC is exterior styling. And I think you can get a glimpse here of some of the products we've got, you know, that they've been really well received. Uh, and the product you're gonna see today, uh, we think is gonna just build on that even further. So uh, the other interesting thing that's going on with GMC is this Denali sub-brand that we've got. We know everybody's familiar with that. Last year, we actually saw continued growth. It's actually growing faster than GMC as a whole. So last year, Denali actually represented one out of every four GMC sales was a Denali branded truck. And in fact, if, uh, if you look at some of the, them, look at Yukon uh, XL, 68% of our Yukon XLs were Denali's. 50% of our Sierra HDs, like this one sitting right here next to me, uh, they were Denali's. So uh, that's just a tremendous um, achievement and we just got so much momentum with Denali. Um, and as you know, we just uh, recently announced the addition of the Canyon Denali. So with that, we'll now have a Denali model on every single vehicle line across the uh, GMC portfolio. Okay, so with that, a uh, quick snapshot on GMC. I'd like to turn it over to Brian Goebel, and he's going to tell you a little bit about Acadia. Thanks, Stu. Good morning, everyone. Uh, as Stu mentioned, we have the uh, 2017 GMC Acadia. Just about two weeks ago in the Detroit, uh, at the Detroit Auto Show, we revealed this vehicle. Um, it's, it's worth noting that we're really launching the new Acadia from a position of strength. Um, something that's really rare these days is uh, the current Acadia, which is also here on the show floor. In its last year of its existence, it had its best year of sales ever with over 96,000 sales. So we're launching the new Acadia, the 2017, which is over here on the platform behind you as well, uh, from a position of strength. And what, we talk to our customers uh, uh, extensively and ask them, what are they looking for in this next iteration of the Acadia? And we heard loud and clear that they're looking for more maneuverability, more efficiency, but yet that's still trademark space and room for stuff as uh, many busy families need and want these days. So that's what you see behind you. Our, our team really delivered a great product, um, the new Acadia. And as you see here, uh, one of the, the uh, base engine on this is a two and a half liter four cylinder engine that gets up to 28 miles per gallon on the highway, which in a vehicle this size and, and, and the utility that it offers is, is we think pretty impressive. And then the other engine that's available is a 3.6 liter V6, which will get you 310 horsepower and, and as well as 4,000 pounds of towing capacity. Um, we've got a ton of new features with this. So uh, we'll get into a few safety features. We've got a full suite of safety features that we think uh, busy families are gonna really appreciate. Uh, an additional one that we've got new on the Acadia, the new 2017 Acadia, is a tow vision camera. You can see if, uh, uh, an image of it here. Not only does it help you line up your trailer when you're when you're connecting a trailer to the hitch but you can actually while you're driving down the road hit that button just take a quick look make sure everything's looking good back there um, and for a little bit of peace of mind there we've got a drive mode selector so we've got different highway modes off-road modes the all-wheel drive mode uh, something that's also new for actually the entire GMC brand we've got um, the interior is completely redesigned with our, our design team um, it's, it's really done so with a user experience for families, whether you're in the driver's seat or in the third row in mind. Uh, we encourage you after we're done interior. here to go up and take a look at that Acadia and check out the interior. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. Uh, the seating as well, very uh, easy to uh, reconfigure to get to the third row. Here you see an example of the second row bench seating. And on the next image, you can see a second row captain's chair. So you've got that pass through to the third row as well. A couple different configurations there. Um, the, we're going to have the automatic uh, lift gate with your foot, so if you've got your hands full of groceries or children oh. or whatnot, you can nice. do the pass under in the rear and the, the, uh, the lift gate will come up automatically. We've got the latest technology, as I mentioned as well, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto functionality will come standard with every new Acadia. And then I mentioned those safety features earlier. This, this is a list of, of all the safety features that will be available on the new Acadia. One thing that's to note as well is an industry exclusive rear seat reminder. We've all heard horror stories of children getting left in the in the rear of vehicles yep. and with heat stroke deaths. So what we're doing at GMC, this is an, uh, a first step basically, an easy simple technology to, to, to address that. And obviously if we save one life because of this, it's it's all well worth it. Oh, I think that's what it does simply is if yes, you open the second door, the mm -hmm. rear door, before you get in the vehicle, 
When you then depart the vehicle and key it off, it will both audibly and visually in the driver information center say, hey, check the rear area for something you may have left. And it's just a quick and simple reminder that we think, again, is a first step towards technology addressing this issue. What you see up on the stage behind us is the SLE trim level. This is the Denali trim level. You can see the signature of Denali Thrill. Three rows of them. Okay, go over to the stage. Look at this. Please spin it. Look how pretty this is. Advanced all-wheel drive with the dual grip, an active twin clutch system as well for a little bit more off-road capable, more active lifestyles. So we've got kind of two different vehicles for different personalities that address many different family needs. We're really excited about that. And so one of the, the greatest things about this, this vehicle is a lot of times you, you launch a vehicle or reveal it and you have to wait a year to get it. Not, not the case here with the Acadia. Actually, this spring, the new Acadia will be available on dealerships. So we're really excited about that. And uh, now for the exciting news, I'm going to turn it, or additional okay. exciting news, I'm going to turn it back over to Stu. Look, okay, thank you, Brian. Covered in a sheet over there. I can't wait to see what that's going to be. All right. Uh, it's going to be a yeah. sear. So we're going to rotate. I'm yeah. sorry. We're going to rotate this screen a little bit this way so we can get the focus over here on the vehicle we're going to reveal here in just a minute. Okay. Okay. So before, though, we unveil, I've just got a couple of other things I wanted to quickly cover. I'll give everybody a second here to shift over. You know, we uh, we actually uh, unveiled the 2016 Sierra Oops. back at the State Fair of Texas. Uh, I, I think many of you were probably there when we did that. Uh, it's it's really done well. We just got it into production here in, in Q4. Uh, and of course, we've got an image here of our Denali, which is really our lead model. And you know, in GMC, as, I, as we talked about at the beginning, we've just done so well with Denali. It really is the ultimate expression of, of GMC's professional grade. So it really defines where we're trying to take Fun fact, the GMC I brand. Drive a GMC um, Sierra. But there certainly is some opportunity uh, around that space, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So uh, just a little snapshot before we move to the new model of uh, how Sierra has done and how Sierra did in 2015. And uh, I have to tell you, it's really been, a, it was an amazing year. It was actually our second best sales year ever last year. Um, and if you look at some of the specs or the facts here in terms of where we actually grew, what, what you see is that we're growing at the top end. So um, in fact, seven, on the light duty side, CR 1500, 70% of our sales on crew cabs were of our high end luxury models, SLT and Denali. Uh, that's up from 58% just a year earlier. We had the highest ATP in the segment, average transaction price. So again, people are paying more for a Sierra than any other light duty pickup. Uh, in fact, about $3,000 more on average. Um, and in fact, if you look at the highest end of the segment, those trucks sold above $45,000. We had a 22% share. So uh, a really strong share. And I'll tell you that share is coming from Ford. So uh, that's where we're getting it from. And we're continuing to see that grow every single year. Same case on Sierra HD. Uh, almost 80% of our sales on the high-end premium truck models, uh, SLTs and Denali's. Highest ATP in the segment, again, about $3,000 higher than anybody else in the segment average. And uh, we've actually got a 24% share of the market above $60,000. So when you get into those high-end trucks, people are looking at these Denali's and they're, they're absolutely loving it. So doing really well. Um, we, uh, and I'm not going to spend much time here, but uh, you know, we, we did introduce a new 2016 Sierra. It's got some, some uh, great new front end. Got new LED lights, uh, both signature and, uh, and, and headlight, taillight, and fog lamps. Uh, we do have a new tri-mode tri -mode power step, and I did want to show that to you. Uh, we don't have one here on the floor, uh, but I got a short video I thought we'd run. With the tap of a foot, the all-new power articulating assist steps provide quick, easy access to the cargo box. The steps also shift forward to provide easy access to the cabin. The all-new power articulating assist steps on the 2016 GMC Sierra. Smart capability just got smarter. I'm afraid cars are going to be smarter. So just, you know, I think that step is just a, it's a great example of what GMC is trying to do. We're trying to, you know, add real capability, the ability to use your truck like a truck, but at the same time do it in a very refined and unique way. So uh, had some new technology. We upgraded our infotainment systems. We uh, added some new safety features, lane keep assist and IntelliBeam headlamps. Uh, we introduced at the State Fair of Texas our updated elevation edition. We've got one sitting on the floor right over here. That's our really our, 
our sort of entry level sport sporty truck uh, targeted to a, a different buyer, but uh, you know somebody that's looking for a premium version of a of a value truck. This is really the, the truck that's fitting their need. Uh, we introduced in uh, two months ago in Los Angeles a upgraded version of our Denali called Denali Ultimate. Uh, that really is a, it's a special model where we, we took all the, the things that Denali has with going for it in the first place, things like magnetic ride, things like the 6.2 liter engine, and then we've added to that 22 inch wheels and some unique exterior appearance items as well as uh, you know those tri-mode power steps that we just talked about. So really it's sort of a maxed out uh, Denali and uh, we're just taking orders on those right now. So what we are here today though to talk about is, is how we're going to extend the Sierra lineup further and broaden our market coverage. And so with that, uh, I'd like to ask our team over here to go ahead and, and pull the cover off. So ladies and gentlemen, the 2016 All-Terrain X. So, wow, let's get some ooze and So this, uh, this new model, this will actually uh, go into production uh, in, uh, in the early spring. So we're looking at just a couple months away. Um, it's based off of our uh, SLT version of our all-terrain. So we started with that, we started with, which is already a very, very premium truck, very highly contented. Uh, but we've really then extended that further uh, with um, uh, this versus our standard all-terrain. Oh, let me run this video for you here. So that, that gives you a little bit of a, a feel for what this truck really is about. And uh, you know, it, we're, the way we're looking at this is this is really the bolder, more capable premium truck. So for that customer looking for that very premium truck, the guy that we've really been targeting and we've been very successful in reaching with our Sierra lineup, we've now got something to offer that customer that's even more capable, even bolder, makes a real statement both from an appearance standpoint, but also from a capability standpoint. So how does it do that? How does it have more capability? Well, first of all, it's got uh, Duratrack 18-inch tires. Uh, first time we've offered those on the Sierra. You know, and, and significant uh, capability traction update with those. We've added um, a performance exhaust system that adds 10 horsepower. So we bumped the horsepower on this with our 5.3 up to up to 365. It also has a very aggressive sound and note to it. So really fits with the overall image of the truck. Uh, we've added the LED high performance uh, headlights to the truck, so it's got fantastic uh, lighting at night as well. And uh, with this sport bar that we've uh, got, we've got the available uh, LED driving lights, so another uh, enhancement on capability. In terms of appearance, we've got the 18-inch black aluminum wheels, uh, we've got the sport side steps, we've got the sport bar of course, and then we've also taken all of the other chrome and uh, brighter elements on the truck and we've, uh, we've either blacked those out or, or turned them body color. So we really got more of a monochromatic vehicle here that makes a real statement. And the nice thing that we really like about it is it's very well, very, very premium. It also is very differentiated right now. So you know, going after a different customer side is looking to make more of a, a different kind of a statement and really wants to be able to use their truck out there. So we're showing it here today in black, but it's actually available in, uh, in a number of colors. So um, you know, it's something that uh, we're really excited about. Uh, All right, that's it.